What's up guys and gals, my name is Splattercat and we're here today at the Nerd Castle taking another look at I think oh, we're probably around episode 19, I would suppose, based on the numbers that I have seen previously whilst uploading. So here we are above Typhon Primaris, as you'll recall in the last episode, I said there's not really a whole lot of point doing this Brood Swarm mission. I mean, if we have an extra deployment, we're on our final freebie deployment right now. And if we end up not needing it for anything else, I might take this one, but since all of the resources at this location have been claimed, there's not really a whole lot of reason for us to jump in and cause problems there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Greenskin Weaponsmith. I don't really know. Angel Gate, actually. Let's do Angel Gate, because that's going to give us Terminator armor, and I've been really lusting after it. I've been thinking about it in my dreams, just like, yeah, sexy Terminator armor. Come be with Commander. me. The situation on Meridian is dire. Okay, we gotta go to Meridian. I only clicked that because I couldn't remember where I was supposed to be going. Over here on Calderas, that's gotta be the Greenskin Weaponsmith. So let's go ahead and jump into Meridian. And once we're there, it looks like Angel Gate's gonna give us a badass plasma cannon. I don't know if I'll use it or not. I'm not a giant fan of plasma weapons just because I prefer projectile weapons. That's just always, even when I played like EVE Online or Mech Warrior, I've always liked projectiles better than lasers and things of that nature. It's a personal flaw. I don't know. Let's go ahead and make our way through the Tingle Gate, and as soon as we've got our dosage of purpliness and also swirliness, we should be ready to deploy down to the surface of Meridian and handle all of the orcs that are going to be on hand. Now I do want to say thank you to you guys for giving me your suggestions for how we want to use Davian Thule in the future. You guys gave me a lot of ideas with how we should be using him. You made it pretty clear that he probably shouldn't be used against orcs because they have lots of anti-tank weaponry. But if we go up against the Tyranids or anything like that, it seems like he's a really good choice for suppressing fire and causing all kinds of ranged damage. Now in this mission, let's go ahead and do the briefing really quickly and I'll think about who I want to bring along for this one. Commander, the major gate in the Angel Forge defensive wall is open. The Tyranid swarm is pouring through, and we also have reports that orc looters are operating in the area. Unless the gate is closed and the enemy driven back, Angel Forge is doomed. Only the Emperor's Space Marines can seal Angel Gate. Okay, so let's decide on our deployment team. I think I'm going to do something a little odd on this one. I'm going to swap out Thaddeus for Avatus, I think. I've never used Avatus. I'm sorry, I've never swapped Avatus out, and so he's actually higher level, I think, than most people on my team. Yeah, he's actually up with the Force Commander, and we need to even out Thaddeus a little bit. Thaddeus' level is looking a little sad. He's only at level 11. We need to give him some kind of 11, otherwise he's going to fall behind, and if we end up having to use him in the future, I'd like to have him at least somewhat concurrent with everybody else when it comes to experience levels, so let's swap them out for now. Now, bear in mind, I'm not doing this for any tactical reason other than the fact that Avatus is the farthest ahead, and so it makes sense to swap him out by comparison to everybody else. Now, in this mission for the special mission kind of intelligence, I suppose, or the strategic assets, or whatever it is that they told me before we go into this one, they're saying that I should use the confusion between the two enemy groups fighting each other to handle one another. And I do think we're going to make use of that strategy. Commander, base defenses failed almost 20 minutes ago. What of the base gates? The power supply failed. This silenced base guns and left the guardsmen dangerously exposed. The same generators power the gates. Angel Gate must be closed or the forge will fall. I am relaying the generator coordinates to your map display. You must activate at least three of them to close Angel Gate. Some Imperial Guard squads are still fighting the enemy, Commander. Cowering behind closed doors is more likely, Thaddeus. Cowards, one and all. Tools of the Emperor are meant to be used, not wasted. Agreed, Tarkas. We should provide assistance if we can. Okay, let's help our there. little guard More friends survivors. out. Commander, Sergeant Merrick, 85th Vendalant. You have my thanks. 
And I've always had a soft spot, I really do, I've always had a soft spot for the Imperial Guard, just because they're normal guys, and that's really, it's kind of terrifying to be just a normal, like, 4 foot 5, 5 foot 4, 6 foot 2 nobody in a world of giants all slaughtering each other. Let's have a look around at the map here. And what can we do with these guys right here? Nothing. It seems like there's some kind of turrets here, but they're deactivated. I'm willing to bet that's probably because the power is out. It's saying we need to rescue some regiments of guardsmen, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to bring Tarkus up, and it looks like we've got lots of sandbags, things of that nature. Might be useful in the future. I'm going to have Thaddeus hang back. Let's go ahead and move the force commander forward as well. And as soon as he's in position, we should be ready to roll. I'm going to do a little bit of scouting up to this position right here on the map. They've got it flared up for me, and I'm going to use some stealth to sneak on in there, Cyrus style, and see what's waiting for us. It may have been a problem bringing Thaddeus along because he does seem to have a really soft spot for all of the civilians. While normally I would say that's an admirable thing, he might let his emotions get the best of him during the course of this mission. Wait, we've been detected? How are we detected? Is that disrupting? Interesting. What happened here? Why are they dropping their cloak right here? I don't like that at all, so I'm going to bring as many people forward as I can. It's weird that they're actually falling. Maybe it's because of the disturbance right here? Oh, is it because of... Ah, an ambuscade. Or however you say that word. It's a good thing I decided to relocate everybody then. Let's go ahead and we're going to get Thaddeus to jump in right there. And down they go. And then I'm going to run Thaddeus the hell back on and out. Let's go ahead and get them out to there. Force Commander is going to jump into here. Put everybody into melee mode so at least they're dealing a bit more damage. And then I'm going to grab Cyrus. Let's maybe think about sniping out that big guy right there just to say we did. And as soon as they've got a little bit of room to breathe, we should be in a lot better of a situation. Alright, so everybody's down right there. That building's looking burnt out. Otherwise, I'd put people up and in it. I would like them to take the initial position that I wanted them to have, but it's been destroyed. So let's bring the Force Commander up, and we're going to have him use the generator. I'm also going to have Cyrus move forward. He's got a little bit of energy left. Maybe keep an eye on things. I feel like we're going to get hit by a lot of ambushes as we go through here. I'm going to drop him out of stealth so that he gets a little bit of energy back. I'm going to have to get used to the fact that Thaddeus is no longer... He's bound to the same key that Avitus was. So I want to be sure that I'm doing this properly before we go much further in. As soon as that's all ready to roll, maybe use the sniper rifle to pop those boxes right there, get some supplies back. I don't really know what my path is going to be during the course of this mission. It looks like I could get away... Oh, there's a forge at the bottom of the screen that I could have captured. Isn't there? Oh, there is. We started right on top of it. There's two forges here. Well, maybe I should have handled that before I went much further. We've re re reactivated one of the generators. Let's have a look around with Cyrus now. Oh, we got enemies coming up behind us, it looks like. Or they're patrolling. Let's have the force commander come on out here. We'll have our sergeant get into position. Why are they going around the back way? Oh, there's stairs right there. Oh, there's a bit more. Okay, well, we're not quite done here yet. Let's go ahead and get rid of the big sh or the Luda boys right there. Those big guns are going to cause us a major problem if we don't manage to take them down, cut them to pieces before they get deployed. How did you die already? You idiot. Why did you fall out of cover? I get so frustrated sometimes. Like, why would you sprint out of cover in the middle of a battle? So now we've lost a unit for no apparent reason. He was just standing behind here a moment ago, and then he decided to fall out of cover. I don't know if one group of the unit... There they go again. See? Why are you guys doing that? Stay back where you are. I need you alive. Little frustrating things like that, where they just refuse to hold the position. We can toggle the stance. Maybe... Let me take a look at the stance. Has he got fall back? No? Well, I did the wrong thing there. That's fine. We weren't really going to be using him anyways for just the moment. Let me have him capture the 
forge while he's down here anyway, since that's probably where he's going to fall all the way back to. Yep, looks about right. Let's have him fall in and grab the forge really quickly. I had to fall back to here anyways just to do that. He'll repopulate while he's here, I guess. Let's go ahead and put him... Oh, I guess this big button right here is just for fall back. I thought that was for his stance, baby. We'll toggle him into range. I don't know why he decided back at that last engagement to fall out of line. Is that already ours? It's not flagged on the map, strangely enough. It's not our colors. Weird. So that's a UI fault right there. It's saying that that's not captured, even though... I have no idea. Maybe it is captured. I don't know what to believe anymore. As soon as he gets back and into position, we'll be fine to move ahead. Maybe we'll have the Force Commander come on up in here. Start breaking the lines a tad. Let's get Thaddeus into position so he can jump in. Ooh, we've got a building full of orcs there. So we're either going to need to nade that out, or we're going to have to have Cyrus's boys up and in here anyways. Not a whole lot we can do with it before we clear these guys on out. Oh, and there's a truck there too. Deeply, deeply regretting my decision not to bring Avidus now with a rocket launcher. This mission is actually going to be a little bit hairier based on the fact that they do have some trucks around. I suppose what we'll do is we'll bomb this out first. Let's throw a satchel charge on the building. And I forgot the demolition charge. How are you going to off throw like that by that much? That wasn't even that far. Knock down the half of the building that I didn't care about. Fantastic. You guys are killing me. I hate you one and all. So frustrated with my, with my marines right now. I really am. Just nothing they're doing seems to be on point. Let me bring in... Oh, and then we'll melt of that really quickly. So the first melt a bomb away, we'll have them fall back out of the position. Let's have them put a nade on that, and then we'll have him run in with the power fist and hopefully finish it off without having to use a second melt a bomb. I'd like to save our supplies for now. The grenade went ahead and should have handled the guy in the building. Great, it didn't work either. Softened him up though, god. Nothing is going according to plan on this mission. This is one of those missions that's starting to get a delightfully Iggy bent to it, where nothing is just kind of happening the way I want. But then again, I always hear people describe Warhammer 40k like that. It's a game of both skill and chance. All you're trying to do is weigh things in your favor, so maybe we're just dealing with some ridiculously offhand RNG at the moment. That bomb that fell short, it's a little disappointing. Stealth our way in and have a look around. Nothing in any of these buildings, so we do have a little bit of clearance here, but we do have some slugga boys, which can be a problem. Let's bring the force commander on up and in. We'll have all of our shooters come on up in here. We'll have Thaddeus set up in the back if he can. And let's have him port straight in. Get into fight long before we deploy anybody else. We'll have them run into position while firing. I'm going to have them drop out of cover maybe over here. And it didn't drop my... There we go. And this should be pretty easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy without any major issues. Is he using... Oh my god. Alright, so he's got like a las cannon or something that he's hitting us with. Let's have everybody else move forward. Take the position as quickly as possible. Force commander, get over to the generator. Maybe put Tarkus in right there. The remainder of our shooters in right there. And then maybe have our... Keep getting my hotkeys messed up. Let's see if maybe we can get them to jump into that group in the back. Cause a little bit of a diversion if we can, then put a grenade right there. So now that he's jumped in, we're going to have him fight with those ranged mobs. Force commander's looking a little less healthy than I'd like. We're going to have them get into cover. Clear out as many of these guys as possible. Let me fall out with him right now. And as soon as his assault jump is back in and useful, maybe think about... Well, we'll jump him in first to mess with these ranged units. There we go. Just kind of mess up those green faces a tad. Rearrange them a bit more. I mean, the green skin's faces are not known for their beauty, but maybe we'll rearrange them in an RNG-like manner and they'll come out beautiful. You're looking like a big green Ken doll or something. Oh, not you guys. Let's go ahead and... Oh. Maybe jump into the middle of that to kind of break it apart. There we are. Force Commander should be able to proc this. Let's get them out of the way for now. Force Commander should be able to proc or to pop his actual melee buff, which should keep them nice and in the clear. What else is going on here that we can have a look at? I'm tempted to run up to that forge and see if we can take it. 
But there's just no telling. That's the problem. It wouldn't let me capture this one down here, so I don't want to waste the time running all the way up there if I don't know I'm going to be able to catch it. Let's send Force Commander out that way. Maybe think about putting Tarkus and his boys in the building there. That looks like a target for a jump, if I've ever seen one. They're nice and grouped up, and that'll cause a bit of damage. We'll throw them into melee against the ranged units, and they should be able to slice and dice quite nicely. Let's get them out now before anything else goes wrong, and then we're going to drop them out of the building, get them in behind that big random pipe that's laying around. It seems like the Imperium is in a never-ending state of reconstruction. Alright, that's cool. Say a prayer if you need to. I didn't know that that was on the itinerary for now. Who's firing at us? I hear a noise. Let's get down here and take this for now. Send the force commander out here, port him in first. Grab that position if we can while we're out here. Oh, our guys are probably fighting. They're probably fighting with Imperial Guard right now, so we should probably get in there and help them out too. Did we already take that one? God, I'm an idiot today. I haven't been paying attention very well. Let's take the scouts forward and have a look around. A lot of buildings. I do like that aspect of this level. A lot of stuff around for us to hide behind. This generator here is not looking so swamped. And it seems as though we have an exploitable opportunity here. Where we can jump in and kind of engage in fighting with the two guys or the two groups of enemies that are fighting each other maybe get Cyrus into a nice advantageous position here and this looks like a good place to jump in my units too maybe like right there if they don't move too much there it is so let's get them into a fight really quickly pop him out of stealth to provide a little bit of support with the sniper rifles just be a oh no well then let's get them the hell out maybe fire a sniper round at him there we go so that'll handle them let's bring Tarkus up and in over here he'll put a grenade on this building as soon as he can we haven't lost anybody up here at this location so let's take the time to capture it if we can the grenade appears to have been ineffective so let's put some rounds on the guy up in the hill or up in the tower. Force Commander should be okay to finish this mob. Let's find out. As long as he doesn't pop anything special. I'd prefer to save all of the medkits that we have on hand for the time being. We're a little broken up for the time. So let's get everybody consolidated at a central location if we can. Excellent work, Commander. There is now sufficient power for you to close Angel Gate from the gatehouse. However, only a few mortar batteries have reactivated. Rousing additional generators will restore more defenses and make taking the gatehouse easier. The choice of tactics is yours, of course. Commander, Sergeant Merrick here. My men are moving up to the guard towers overlooking Angel Gate. We will provide covering fire when you make your advance on the gatehouse. Okay, so I'm going to take the secondary objective because we've got a little bit of time to play with in this episode. I'm going to... Let's move the tactical marines ahead. I'd like to get everybody back together again. I feel like we're really broken up. We're not all standing by one another at this point. And I'd prefer to have everybody in the same location so that the bare minimum, we can make a little bit of a pass at the enemy if we have to. Bunch of Tyranids coming in. Let's go ahead and support them over there if we can. Very little about this gate is angelic. Here come the Space Marines. Give them covering fire. We'll jump in there, maybe cause a little bit of havoc to support the Force Commander. And a lot of Thaddeus' tactics, it comes around actually seeing those opportunities that are out there. There are like specific moments in which you really, really, really want to use Thaddeus. And then other moments where using him is basically suicide to his squad. Over here we've got a Zoanthrope. We're going to need to handle him. Let's blast the Zoanthrope really quickly. Looks like the force or the Imperial Guards are using their LAS guns and they're using their flashlights to deal as much damage as they can. Not known for their amazing personal combat equipment. They want us to secure the gatehouse, but I feel like I should probably be securing some other things as well. We are securing the location as best we can. Let's jump them in really fast. 
Maybe get out here with the Force Commander, cause a little trouble. There we go. Very nice supporting from Thaddeus there. Very pleased with his performance in this mission. It looks like you saw that guy floating down the wall. It looks like we drove him up the wall. <laughs> Making them puns right there. Sometimes we just can't resist. Over here we've got orcs hitting us from this direction. Probably in our best interest to secure some of these locations too. Let's bring the tactical marines along. Maybe... Yeah, let's get Cyrus into cover as well while we're here, or at least put them into stealth so that they can sneak around and get into a better position. Tactical Marines should be okay right there. Let's maybe think about sniping out him. There's one down. That seems to have damaged the squad pretty heavily. Those beamy Ludas, I don't think they'll be able to fort. Eh, I don't know. We may have to abandon this position for right now. I need everybody. I believe they'll keep replenishing the Imperial Guard there until we come back. So let's continue advancing because if we're not moving forward, we're not actually getting anything done here. We'll get them into a nice flanking position, then drop them out of cover. I'm going to take Thaddeus and his boys. We're going to jump in right there, and then we're going to teleport the Force Commander in as best we can. Force commanders in and raising all kind of kinds of hell. I'd like to keep an eye on the gatehouse. I don't think they can destroy it. It doesn't have any real HP or anything to exploit. We've got that right there. Maybe jump them in to activate this generator really quickly. Ooh, bad idea on my part. Let's jump the force commander in. Maybe cut off. All right, so let's have them fire on them. Let's get out of the way. Maybe think about popping the heroism right there or the giant buff that we have. They're now taking ranged fire, which makes me think that I have made a massive mistake. Let's think about possibly getting our boys into position, using the force commander to hold them off as best we can. They need our help. But do they deserve it? Avatus, they fight the Emperor's foes. That is all that matters. Your orders. Engage, jump, jump to there. Maybe we'll land in time. There we go. A little bit of damage being dealt. It is done. Move on. All right, so let's get the force commander back here to maybe help with the gatehouse. Because it does appear as though they're being over... Looks like they're coming fairly well under assault here. Let's snipe the larger Tyranids out, and I, I feel as though I really am being forced to take this position. I probably should have captured some of the other positions while I had time, but I sort of rushed this one through, and I feel like I'm paying for it now. Let's get the recruits into position, tactical marines as well. And then Thaddeus is going to finish capturing that position because he'll be able to close the gap a little bit quicker using his jump ability. Good. There we go. A bit more support is all that they need. The Imperial Guard... The Imperial Guard, they're such a great army when they have the proper support structures. Ooh, maybe fall back to here then? Looks like they're taking a bit too much damage. Let's see if maybe we can get them caught up with the rest of our units. There we are. The other option that we might consider... See, I don't know if I need to babysit this location. I don't know how the level works. I don't know if I should babysit one location or fall back to another. I do feel like every time I abandon this spot, it takes a lot of damage. But there are other generators to handle. It looks like they've got sufficient forces here for now. Oh, as I say that. That looks like a prime candidate for a jump, so let's do it. And then we're going to run them back out. Let me get Cyrus here. And snipe one of their big guys in the back. The guy with the Venom Cannon, definitely. We need him to go away. It might be a worthwhile venture to put them... Oh, we can secure the... We have to capture it. Oh. Well then, I suppose I'm just going to capture this now. There's no point in not doing it that way. We've already come this far. 
We're already entrenched. Let's just do it. I'm gonna move the force commander up a little bit further if they'll allow me to. Commander, we are tracking large tyranid spores dropping near Angel Gate. Okay. We don't have a lot of support forces. Avatus seems to be the go-to guy for those little spore mines. I think we'll be all right here, though. It looks like they're. Oh God! Well, everybody, get out of there then. So they landed right in the middle of us, and I think our best option now. Let's get the force commander to there. Is to bunk everybody up in one of these buildings and just let them fire as much as possible out of the little slats. Yeah, there it is right there. We should be okay now. That does, however, leave us with a vacancy for capturing this location. So maybe I'll have the force commander do it under the support of everybody else, or maybe that might be a nice thing for... Oh, we've got a Carnifex in now. Let's get the Force Commander on the Carnifex. And then I would prefer to have everybody in Thaddeus' squad just kind of running around, causing mayhem if we can. Yeah, let's unbunk everybody here to say that we did. And we're going to have to fall back now, unfortunately. Force Commander, I need you, like, right here, and then let's pop that. We'll put everybody into melee mode. We've got two Carnifexes, or Carnifies, I don't know what to call them. However, they are pluralized. The desperation of this mission is really forcing me not to do my secondary objectives as I would like to. Imperial Guard's just gonna have to hold over there for now. Salt Marines are taking some pretty serious damage. All right, and they finished off the Carnifex. That was a major, major assault. Little terrifying there. Let's go ahead, and I actually haven't been making use of a lot of my tactical support abilities. I think I'm gonna put in some new assault cannons here. Have Thaddeus jump in for support while we can. And then fall back out. Let's go ahead and put in some guns that are all in different positions. And I'd like to have the Force Commander up and in. Assault Squad back. Give me a grenade right there. God, this is just chaos. Ooh, Force Commander's down. Let's see if we can get him back up for now. That was kind of a suicide jump right there. It's not one that I wanted to make, but I felt like I had an opportunity and I needed to exploit it. Let's get everybody into cover. And then I'm not even using my sharpshooters right now, so let's get them kind of up and in here too. Force Commander still appears to be okay. Put him into rage mode while it's up. That should help out the Imperial Guard too. Ooh, we've got a Zoanthrope up here. Blast the Zoanthrope really quickly. I don't know if the jump is going to hurt that Carnifex, but we can try. No such luck there, unfortunately. Let's have him fall back. He's taking a bit of damage that I don't think he's going to be able to handle. And now, with all the craters that are around, I think I can move people forward. And as I say that... Our large Carnifex friend. Oh, he's a lesser Carnifex. That makes me feel so much better that he's lesser. Probably hurts his self-esteem, though, calling him that. Nobody likes to be known as the lesser. Let me put in another gun, and then we'll have three that are all ready to rage. And while I've got time, let me get some invested time on this gatehouse while it's here. Maybe take anybody that's lost a man and run them back to a control point so that they can replenish. Everybody else is looking fairly full up, though. This is a fun mission. I like this one. Oh, good. There's more of them. Let's 
Looks like a good spot for a grenade. This is a lot of Tyranids, but then again, when you say this is a lot of Tyranids, that's kind of a given. I don't really know how long, I don't know how tenable this position is going to be for now. We are really unloading the Daka on him as best as we can, but just capturing this thing seems to be an exercise in frustration. Let's bring back Thaddeus right now and see if maybe we can give him some love, give him some help. I could put people back in here, but I feel like they're rushing the line to the point where it's difficult to fire. Two med kits left. Are there any supplies laying around that I could reach out and grab? Nothing that I'm seeing, so yeah, we need to grab this... Is that right there? Another Venom Cannon guy. Let's put a bit of damage on him. There we go. See that health tick away in the way that I like to see. I can't order them around. Maybe I'll put... Yeah, let's put Tarkus back up in this building for now. He seems to get a little bit of work done while he's up in there, and we have put down all of our turrets. Meanwhile, I wish I had landmines for this one. Didn't realize this was going to turn into a defense mission. I thought we were liberating the Angel Gate, which I guess we are. We're capturing it. We're reaching out and touching it, but... Definitely one of the harder missions that I've played so far. At least one of the more chaotic that makes you a bit more flustered. Definitely feeling that stress. But we should be ready to roll very soon. Angel Gate is closing. There we are. In your debt. It's a hell of a gate. Commander, the orc looters remain a serious concern. Disabling the base generator speaks of some sort of plan. They must want something here. With your permission, I will oversee the mop-up operations. I do not want to leave anything to chance. Sounds like a plan. Our rating is probably not going to be satisfactory on this one. I wasn't expecting to get pinned down at the gate before I could turn on all those generators. And it seemed like each of the generators was strong enough to where I couldn't assault it with like single units, which would leave me short-handed at the other location. We did alright. All things considered where we got a little bit of a speed bonus, and this was a bonus deployment. This didn't even cost us anything. How do we do on leveling? Thaddeus, did you get anything? Ooh, so close. So we'll probably sacrifice some of the loot that we grabbed here to get him up to 12. He's falling behind a little bit. Not using him as much as I would like to. I have gotten used to his jump, but we are going to have to start cycling in Davian Thule, too. I do want to see what Avatus and Davian Thule can do together if we, like, if we nix out Targus and Thaddeus and put those two in. I'm willing to bet the sheer amount of firepower we can lay down is going to be horrendous to our enemies. Let's see if... Commander, a signal from Angel Forge. It is Sergeant Targus. Commander, we have spotted orcs making for storehouses north of Angel Gate. I think this may have been their goal all along. Commander, those are the private storehouses of House Vandis. Before his flight, the governor destroyed the records of what they contained. I can only imagine what weaponry he may have been hoarding, or the damage they could do in orc hands. She is right, Commander. We must stop those raiders. All right, well, it sounds like we have a job to do then, but... Let's take a look at our characters. We're going to level up Cyrus. So I think I'm going to keep on moving him towards a bit more range damage. There it is. He doesn't have... Yeah, he doesn't have anything. He still can't use Naaman's Silence, which is just going to be amazing. Davian Thule, you guys recommended putting all of his skills into ranged. So what we're going to do is we'll throw Manifest Death on him, which... That was amazing. I like him already. And then we're going to put a bunch of points into... Hardened armor and I think battle lust. So let's do the HP first Simply because I want him to be hardened versus anti-vehicle armor or anti anti-armor weaponry. There we go I can say what I mean here. He's also got some assault cannon barrages. You got mighty strike very cool Wisdom's boon gives him energy regeneration a bit more will and some dreadnought plating Let's sacrifice those that's gonna move Thaddeus on up to the next level. We'll get rid of that Ranged accessory. Now if we get rid of... Oh, we don't have Tarkus right now. Okay, so we are going to have to equip him with something. 
Let's think about maybe giving him some range damage boost. We'll give him the Hymn of Fury. Jump over to Thaddeus, and we will throw down and give him a bit more... We, I'd like to give him some more support abilities, but let's get him to Aegis of Fury so that at least he's immune when he lands. And then we're going to move him towards the next loadout slot right here. That's going to do us for this episode. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle, and I will see you guys next time. Take care out there, everybody.